Hey guys, it's your girl Malanobi. Thank you guys so much for tuning back to my channel. So in today's video, um, I just want to share some products um, that I use to keep my acne prone skin under control. Um, I have really, really bad, I suffer from really bad adult, um, adult acne. I don't know where it came from, what started it. I just know, poof, I had the worst acne I've ever seen in my life. And these are some of the products that I use to keep it under control, at bay. So if you are interested in learning how you can control or treat or cure your um, acne prone skin, then stay tuned um, and watch the rest of this video. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much. I'm so happy for all of the support that I get from you guys. Um, it means a lot to me. I started my YouTube channel and nobody that I know knows that I have this channel. So every view that I get, every subscriber that I get, I am so grateful for. That means you guys have really found me somewhere out there in the YouTube community. Um, and I am so grateful. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and just share some of the products and how I use these products. All right, hey guys. So the first product that I wanna get into, um, let me just let me just start off by saying, if you are suffering from acne, um, whether you are a teen, whether you are a little kid, whether you are an adult, an elderly, it does not matter. Um, do not be ashamed. Just a little bit about my journey. I used to suffer from adult acne. Um, it was cystic acne. It was probably the worst you can probably think of um, <laughs> or imagine. And I went to the dermatologist and they were just trying to have me take all, like literally they prescribed me like a thousand bottles of pills. They wanted me to continue to take these things and I don't like taking medicine. I don't like taking Advil's, Tylenol, anything like that I don't take. So I was just like, what am I going to do? And this is why I came across the first product, okay? First thing that you want to start off with is a face wash. You want to make sure that, like, before you start combining different things, whether it's moisturizers, toners, you want to stick with one product just to see how it works. And I'm only saying that because it just makes it easier to see how your skin takes to it, how it reacts to it. You can easily stop right away if you know it's not working for you, if you're only using one product at a time, if that makes sense, okay? So the first thing that you want to start off with is a really good face wash. Um, so the face wash that I want to recommend to you guys is Desert Essence. This is the Thoroughly Clean Face Wash. This is an original. Okay, so this is what the bottle looks like here. Okay, and let me tell you, when I say I love this, it's only a little bit in here right now. I have my my refill bottle. I have my refill bottle, okay? So this is Thoroughly Clean, um, clean Desert Essence. This is for oily skin, okay? So I have oily skin and I love this. Let me tell you. I love this face wash because it doesn't, you feel like a clean, sweet clean, but not like strip you dry, face is stuck kind of clean, if that makes sense. And let me just tell you, I love this face wash. The first place that I ever purchased it from was Amazon, okay? So find a really, really good face wash that you like, that you um, enjoy. Read the ingredients. Take the time to read the ingredients, whether you're in Target, whether you're in Walgreens, whether you're in Walmart, the internet, Sephora. Um, make sure that you read the ingredients. Like I'm the type where I see a new product, if it looks nice, I'll Google it right there. Google it, kind of get some reviews a little bit, um, just see what the ingredients are. And um, if it works for you, go ahead and give it a try. And like I said, I strongly suggest that you um, kind of look into the um, ingredients and try one new product at a time. Now, with face wash, me, I have to exfoliate probably at least like two to three times a week. Um, I do light exfoliation. So, while I'm using my face wash, what I do is I put it onto... So this is what it looks like. Okay, so this is my little Duvall, little uh, Sonic. These little bristles on it. And it, when I say it is so soft, oh my goodness. Like, sometimes I like to use this, even when I'm just massaging my moisturizer into my face, I like to use it. So it comes with, this is just a power button here, it has a little light. You can also adjust whether you want to go down or up, and you just do this, look at this, oh. It just feels so good. So I would just do it like this. I'm just enjoying the little vibrations. It has this little vibrating. <laughs> 
little thing to it. Me personally, I love this better than the face brush. I've tried a face brush before for my face and I really didn't like it. If you can't get your hands on one of these bad boys right here, which I highly, highly recommend, it's the the, the Duval uh, Sonic Facial Brush. If you can't get your hands on one of these, then it's okay. Just use a cotton round, it's clean, and once you're done with it, make sure that you throw it away. Okay, so that's that for face wash. After face wash is moisturizer. So the moisturizer that I have been using is my Peter Thomas Raw what it looks like and when I say this right here will not let you down I have been using this product now for I want to say like a year over a year a little over a year or a year I have a little bit inside I need to get some more but I love this now for acne prone skin now it is a little on the pricey side a little on the pricey side Let's be real with you it's a little pricey but it is worth it Okay, so this moisturizer right here has no smell. It doesn't have like an oily or greasy texture to it. It absorbs really, really fast into the skin. And when I say it brought the light to my skin, because for me using a lot of my mask, I'm gonna get into that in a little bit, what I use for my mask, but it was kind of drying my skin out. That brought the life back to my skin. Like you could just feel the bounce. Like it, your skin just moisturized all day long. Now, an affordable alternative and also a natural alternative would, to, would be to use some jojoba oil. So I have some jojoba oil right here. Just make sure it's a 100% pure organic jojoba oil, um, cold pressed preferably. You can go ahead and moisturize your skin with that as well. Now jojoba oil is like the closest, I believe, to like a natural production of like serum, of like skin oils. So it will not clog your pores, I promise you. I was an advocate, I used to think that since I had oily skin and acne prone skin at the time, that moisturizing was a no-no, but that's like the worst thing that you can do to your skin while your skin is going through whatever it's going through. You need to moisturize. So let me tell you, for acne prone skin, this um, right here is amazing. Now, if you can't get your hands on that, like I said, just find yourself some jojoba oil and just make sure that it's 100% um, organic and natural and yeah you'll be fine moisturize your face with that i use my um, jojoba oil every every single day and night i use that to moisturize my lips okay so if i'm making a video and you ever see my lips with a little oil that's my whole oil so moisturization jojoba oil or the peter thomas roth hyaluronic face cream okay those two amazing you will be fine what made me start looking into this was i was using this to moisturize my skin and it gave me no problems at all i got the job done what happened was i wasn't able to use it like makeup wise it is oil so to use that all over my face and then try to apply makeup it was kind of giving me a little slip and slide problems so that's why i went looking for this and i have been sticking with this ever since okay so the next item that we're going to get into is toner very 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 simple let me show you something rose water okay so the rose water that i use is the i believe it's althea organics rose water let me tell you something how organic it is okay ingredients rose flour distilled water that's it that's all you need when i say when i say i love this stuff rose water oh my gosh like whether it's like a workout and you just want to spray it a little bit on a cotton round and get it going wipe it off or if you just want to spray it on your face so how i use it is after i wash after i moisturize what i do is i just spray it all over my face and just let it just sit there it being a little drip and it's okay i just let it sit so into my skin i pat a little bit into my skin and i let it dry and then i move on sometimes i wash my face and my face is just so moisturized that if I'm in the house all day and I wash my face at night, I'll just do a lot of rose water, keep it moving, put my whole oil on my lips, and then I'm good to go. Okay, no, let's get more into exfoliation, okay? Now, another thing that you can do to exfoliate if you if you don't have one um, from Duval, again, it is a little pricey, but I'll, I'll, I'll link um, a discount code that you guys can use so that way that you guys can save. If you can't use this or if you don't, if exfoliating with the cotton round is not enough, the ordinary peeling solution, let me tell you, this little red stuff right here in the bottle, let me show you how real it is. 
right? Two empty bottles. Brand new, not even open yet. And then I have this one right here that's open. I don't play. This stuff right here, now, it is real. It is real. You want to follow the instructions exactly. You want to put that onto your skin. You don't want to rub it into your skin. And before you apply any products to your skin, you want to make sure that you're not like blistering or you don't have any open scars or wounds or anything like that on your face. You apply this, preferably at nighttime. You don't want the sun hitting your face um, after applying something so strong like this. You apply this to your face. Let me tell you, when I say I love this stuff, you apply it onto your skin, you let it sit. It says um, no more than 10 minutes. Sometimes I do like five minutes, not really a long time. I'll let it sit and you just rinse it right off with cool water. When I say your face will be feeling like a baby's bottom, literally. OMG, please believe me when I tell you this right here for acne prone skin, cystic acne, whatever type of acne you're going through, this right here will help you. Trust me, believe me when I tell you, it will, trust me. Okay? Now, another thing that you can do um, to exfoliate your skin is do, 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 my holy grail, my fave, 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 turmeric. Now, my very, very first upload on YouTube was my turmeric and honey mask, and it cured my skin, it cured my acne. Let me tell you, this right here is no joke. I gotta make another video about the many amazing properties of turmeric, but Long story short, turmeric is an anti-inflammatory. It's a spice used for cooking, different types of things, but it has natural healing properties, okay? So like I said, it is anti-inflammatory. Now think about it. If bumps are raised up, they're red, they're sore, they're swollen, it's inflamed. This is anti-inflammatory. It's going to calm that redness. It's going to calm the soreness. It's going to calm that bump immediately okay so if you don't have honey you can literally just mix this with a little bit of water just get it to a little paste if you're a little unsure you can watch my first video how i do my turmeric and honey mask otherwise you can just mix it with a little honey or you can mix it with a little water you can put it onto your skin now if you feel turmeric or if you've ever felt turmeric you'll know that it's great okay so right before you rinse it off your face to get a little exfoliation you can just slightly rub slightly rub and you'll feel like a little crummy crummies or whatever you want to call it the turmeric you'll feel this right here stinks okay so you want to be very 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 careful i've only used this brand right here i've never used another turmeric before so this is feel cool organics again amazon this one this one and this one i started i came across at the exact same time looking for natural organic products and i have been using all three of these for the past i don't know i know it's like over a year and holy grail can't live without okay oh yeah my whole so you just mix your turmeric mix it up put it on your face make a little mask and i tell you, you just need a little teaspoon a little scoop a little bit of water or you can use a little bit of water and honey or you can just mix it with the honey for like more like a pasty mask put it on once you feel it start to dry you rinse it off once I rinse it off, I go in with a little rose water on a cotton round and I just wipe it right off. So this right here now, I feel like after a while, my skin just started to get healthy and I really didn't need this all the time. I start applying this. I use my turmeric probably, I want to say, but it's like almost like around that time of the month when my breakouts kind of get a little, a little kind of crazy. <laughs> I use the turmeric around that time of the month, but I hate the fact that it stains my nails. It's just so gosh good so sometimes when i don't want to kind of get into the messiness this is where this guy right here comes into play for me personally it does the exact same thing it gets deep into the skin and once you rinse it it's just brand new skin fresh rejuvenated revived skin okay so these are the products that you can use right here when i promise you i promise you i was the type where i tried all types of products i used to be in walgreens walmart target all these places literally buying all the types of acne care. This was before I went to the dermatologist. I almost felt like I was addicted to trying new ones, like, because they would work and they would stop working, work and stop working, work and stop working. Then the dermatologist came and I was like, I'm not taking all these pills, are you crazy? And that's what made me kind of look more into healthiness. And that was the whole purpose of why I started my channel because I was like, I have to share this information. I wish I would have found a video like this when I was going through what I was going through. So I had to share. Um, that's that. I hope that you 
guys will enjoy. I hope that you purchase these products and try them. Um, leave some comments. Make sure that you guys share this information out because it really, really works. And I just want to make sure that if there's anybody out there that is struggling like I was, that this will hopefully help them. So yeah, thank you guys so much. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you guys. It's your girl, Mullen Nobi, and I'll see you guys next time.